next, change the range and calibrate a Foxborough E11 GM pressure transmitter. The procedure will be very similar to that used for the E13 differential pressure transmitter. The pressure transmitter range can be changed to any value within the limits of the capsule. Consult the instruction manual for specific capsule limitations. This table gives the span limits, range limits, and maximum overrange for each capsule. It is in the instruction manual. Unlike the differential pressure transmitter, the pressure transmitter definitely can be damaged by overrange. Like the differential pressure transmitter, the links have to be set for the low, medium, or high span of a given capsule. This table designates the link selection for a given span for a particular capsule. This 0 to 50 PSIG transmitter contains a B capsule. We have a request to change the range to 0 to 200 PSIG. Can we calibrate capsule B to 0 to 200 PSIG? The answer is yes. The maximum span is 200 PSIG and the range limits are minus 15 to 350 PSIG. What link arrangement will we need? For capsule B, the spans from 100 up to 200 PSIG require the high arrangement. Set the span links per the high diagram. And connect a variable pressure source capable of supplying the maximum pressure to the process connection. The test gauge and release valve are an integral part of the hookup. The calibration is identical to that for the differential pressure transmitter, with the exception that we are working with higher pressures. With zero pressure input to the transmitter, Adjust the transmitter zero for 10 milliamps output. With 200 PSIG input, adjust the span to give 50 milliamps output. Repeat the zero. and the span adjustment until the 0 to 200 PSIG calibration is correct. Intermediate checks should be made at 50, 100, and 150 PSIG. Next, we have a work request to change the range of our same transmitter to 100 to 400 PSIG. Remember, it has the B capsule.
we will first select a suitable capsule and span link arrangement. Our range is 100 to 400 PSIG. Have you selected a capsule? Our span is 300 PSIG and our upper range is 400 PSIG. Capsule C is suitable. Capsule D would also work, but it would be less sensitive. What is the proper span link arrangement for the C capsule with 100 to 400 PSIG range? It is in the high section. We are fortunate. That is, where we have the link arrangement already. We will proceed to install the C capsule in the transmitter. The capsule has the letter C stamped into it. First, remove the strainer vent plug located at the bottom of the transmitter. Using a 964th key wrench, loosen but do not remove the flexure cap screw. This illustration shows the assembly. Remove the two body nuts. And lift off the process connection block. Do not remove the body bolts. Remove the capsule, but do not bend the flexure. Examine the O-rings and replace them if necessary. They should be lubricated with a Vaseline-type lubricant. The larger O-ring goes into the body. Install the C-capsule with the flexure horizontal. against the bottom of the force bar. Tighten the flexure cap screw just enough to hold the capsule in place. Replace the connection block over the bolts. and evenly tighten the two bolts to 40 pounds torque. If the capsule is replaced or the flexure cap screw loosened, a flexure cap screw adjustment must be made before calibrating. With the cap screw loosened and zero input pressure, Set the zero for 10 milliamps. Carefully tighten the flexure cap screw. If the output changes 1.25 milliamps or less, readjust the zero to 10 milliamps. If the output changed more than 1.25 milliamps, loosen the flexure cap screw and repeat the procedure. After completing the flexure cap screw adjustment, install the strainer plug 
and prepare to calibrate for the 100 to 400 PSIG range. Now work exercise number nine in your workbook. For any range that begins below or above zero, the Foxborough transmitter requires the installation of an optional elevation suppression unit. It is also called a bias unit. It is very easy to install. Simply by referring to pictures in the instruction manual. And installing the screws and nuts furnished with the unit. Foxborough calls pressure ranges beginning above zero elevated ranges. The ones beginning below zero are called suppressed ranges. This is contrary to some of our other teaching. The elevation plus the span for a given capsule must not exceed the upper range limit. The upper range limit for capsule C is 750 PSIG. Therefore, it is okay to use for the range 100 to 400 PSIG. We are finally ready to calibrate. Apply 100 PSIG to the transmitter Connect the Foxborough 8121 or equivalent calibrator to the transmitter. Set it for calibrating a 10 to 50 milliamp force balance transmitter. The transmitter is connected to the output terminals. The resistance is set to 300 ohms. The current adjust is fully clockwise and the function selector is set to 10 to 50 milliamp out. Adjust the bias screw to where the output is approximately 10 milliamps. Adjust the transmitter zero to get exactly 10 milliamps output. Next, apply the full range pressure of 400 PSIG. And adjust the span for 50 milliamps output. Repeat the 100 PSIG and the 400 PSIG tests until calibration is complete. The bias and zero adjustments can be considered a coarse and fine zero adjustment, with the bias being the coarse one. Our shop calibration is complete. In the final analysis, the degree of accuracy of any calibration is dependent on the quality of the calibrating tools used. The Exxon gray box calibrator is entirely satisfactory for many installations. Some transmitter circuits have a precision resistor located near the transmitter. A digital voltmeter 
or a millivolt box connected across the resistor will give satisfactory readouts for zero and calibration purposes. There is no clear-cut calibrating procedure and selection of calibrating tools for all plants, or even within a given plant. A judgment is made for each task. Now work exercise number 10 in your workbook.